All right. So, hi everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Power Platform Recession for our Apps PH Academy. Okay, so let me just let's just wait for our trainees and our viewers here in Reception Media. So today we will welcome the trainees for our data analysis and fundamentals. And of course, we're going to congratulate our trainees who completed our Power Platform Fundamentals. into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, all right, so that's our opening prayer. And just for the opening remarks, it's me. I'm Doha Drizzle Pablo, or you can call me Drizzle. I'm one of the founder and chief operating officer of TMD Ship Mode and BizApps PH Academy. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday despite of our MECQ or ECQ status at the moment. I hope you are all well and you are with your family or loved ones at home you're safe secured and just enjoying your saturday okay so first is i would like to thank you 
our trainees, our Ms. Apps PH Academy, especially to Roy Alfred Sardalia, Armando Salas III, Flores Weevil Pablo, Hannah Miles de Abay, Akira of Mendoza. Uh, these are the people behind uh, Biz Apps PH Academy. It's not only me who made this possible, but a DMD ship mode team as well. And second is I would like to thank our trainees. I know at first we had like 15 to 20 trainees, but of course along the way we encountered challenges like internet connection, devices, and I know some of our trainees would want to complete, some of them completed like half, 50%, 70% of the modules, but then again, uh, they need to focus on their priorities and really understand. And DMD Ship Mode, BizUp's PH Academy will just be here waiting for you. But despite that, the challenges that we encountered, we just want to share uh the success of our three trainees they was they were able to complete all against all the odds they made it they are all successful they just completed power platform fundamentals course and they are our batch one 2021 okay so i was hoping that they can join us but of course internet and other challenges Okay, so I will just uh, go straight to the awarding of certificates. Okay, so you will know our trainees who did it with flying colors. It was awesome to have them in the course and in the batch. And later, we will just ask a recording for them. And then we will just post it on our social media, YouTube and Facebook for the recording of our trainees. We would want to hear from them on their key takeaways, what they've learned and something that they want to share and words of encouragement to the community. This is one way of bridging the gap and providing more opportunities to our fellow Filipinos or to our community. Okay, so now let's proceed to the awarding of certificates. So first, it's just alphabetical order, okay? So certificate of completion, we hereby recognize Natalie, Chloe, DT, Bachicha, Bachica, sorry. Okay, we hereby recognize Natalie, Chloe, DT, Bachica for completing course for Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. Thank you, Chloe. Next, Certificate of Completion, we hereby recognize Princess Diana A. Santos for completing the course for Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. And third, third trainee, Certificate of Completion, we hereby recognize Jonathan B. Havinor for completing the course of Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. We will be sending this digital certificate and also a hard copy certificate to our trainees, okay? And now for our closing remarks, I'll give it to our head and registrar, Roy Alfred Sardalia. Thank you so much for that, um, Drizel. So first of all, I would like to thank these wonderful and hardworking trainees because Despite that they are having a hard time to do on the to do the task and also they are working, some of them there are a full time mom. But then again, they will um they can be able to complete the power platform fundamentals. And I am so happy that our company or the organization we have all imparted the knowledge that we have on the power platform. Uh, power platform and we all know that it is very important that we also share our knowledge in digital transformation so again congratulations trainees and see you all on your next course yes on their next journey that's right and for the last part of our presentation we just want to share the video that our interns for this page program for eight.
So I hope you like this. And then after this video, we'll have the orientation for our dynamics physics or fundamentals. Okay? Yes. session two. Oh, I think Nathalie and, sorry, I didn't check. Um, Nathalie and Jonathan are here. So, so before we move to the orientation, okay, so uh, who wants to go first? Nathalie or, or Jonathan? Who wants to go first? Is it Nathalie or Jonathan? John and Nathalie, okay, and then after Jonathan, okay. Hello, po. Hello, po. Good afternoon. Hello, po. Hello, Pa. Hello, Chloe. Go ahead, please. Yes, please. It's okay. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, Pa, I would just want to thank uh, Sir Mr. Roy Sardalia and to you, Pa, Miss Dries, and to Miss Miss Flores, Miss Flores Wavel to Bali for always supporting us, Pa. Um, at first po, I was really hesitant to enroll since it's really my first time to encounter this um, this course. So I have really no idea po if if I will be able to cope up with uh, with this uh, with this course. However, um, as I'm uh, as I'm starting to um, to learn or explore this course, uh, marami po ang um, natutunan and Although there are some challenges po with with the courses, um, 
especially po uh, sa when it comes to power interruption and then meron din pong nagkakaroon din ng problem sa sa gadget kasi bali nakikihiram lang po ako ng laptop dun sa activity. So far, um, na ano ko naman po siya, na survive ko naman po and thank you so much po for that and sa support niyo po. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Okay, all right. Thanks, Chloe, and congratulations again. You did it. You made it. And I hope you will join us again on the Dynamics 365 Fundamentals. All right? Yes, ma'am. And then now, Jonathan, are you ready? Or we're good. Jonathan, have you know? Jonathan, or we'll ask for your recording instead. Maybe you are encountering any technical difficulties or any challenges. All right. So, yeah. Let's proceed to our orientation. All right. So, let's proceed on the Dynamics 365 course orientation. So, in a while, I sh I'll be sharing with you my screen for the PowerPoint presentation. Roy, will you be share screen or I'll share the deck? Um, I'll be sharing my screen for the deck. Okay. All right, so welcome to BizUp PH Academy. We will rise together, we will learn together, we will hold together, and we will be a Microsoft professional. So for today, we'll be now proceeding on our Dynamics 365 orientation. So let me just remind you our house rules. So we have the be here now, mentally and physically present. You also have the aha, uh -huh, always share your ideas. So this um, training will be an interactive where we will share all our ideas, we will unpack and make all the bad practices into best practices. We also have the be hot, honest, open, and teachable. We also have the one mouth rule, when mouth speaks, all is smells listen. If you want to say something, you can utilize the raise your hand icon on Microsoft Teams. And don't forget your URL. Unlearn, relearn, and learn. All right. So let me just um, give you a walkthrough to the Academy profile, who is Visa PH Academy. So the main objectives of this orientation is will be discussing the vision and mission, the core values, the learning delivery modality, the training schedule, the terms and condition, the academic calendar for the course of Dynamics 365, and the other courses that we offer, and the grading system. So the vision of the BizUp PH Academy is a learning community that seeks to equip trainers with the knowledge, 
skills, and values in order to become a Microsoft professionals who will help organizations and businesses in their journey towards digital transformation. The main mission of the PH Academy is it aims to provide comprehensive, innovative, and meaningful learning opportunities to anyone who wants to learn about Microsoft business applications. Trainees are immersed in work-related environment in order to experience authentic learning and prepare them to the real world. So, the core values of the organization or the academy is we have the dare. We believe that we should dare ourselves. Dare, letter D stands for determination. We keep trying no matter how difficult the task is. Adaptability. Be flexible and learn to adjust in changing circumstances and environment. Resilience. Always stand up and bounce back from all the adversities you have experienced. And excellence. Strive for continuous improvement. Be the best version of yourself. So, um, in... This is a PH Academy. We have the learning delivery modality, will, uh, which is we will adopt the online distance learning delivery. And we will utilize a combination of two formats of synchronous and asynchronous learning. When we say synchronous learning, it happens in real time with a specific class schedule and log in time. On the other hand, when we say asynchronous learning, um, we allow the student to access the learning materials online but it does not require real-time interaction. So the students can also consult their trainer during asynchronous sessions or during the trainer's designated consultation period in case there are concerns or difficulties through Microsoft Booking. All right, so this will be the training schedule for the Dynamics 365 course. So the synchronous session is scheduled will be every Saturday, um, 1 o'clock p.m., while the asynchronous sessions will take place every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So the consultation time will be based on the available schedule of the trainer. All right? So we have here the terms and condition of the, of the organization. Okay? So... The terms and condition of the organization will be sent to all the trainees that is enrolled and receive their certificate of enrollment. Okay, for the academic calendar of this organ of this course, it will run starting from May three until July ten. Okay, so as you can see, we have. 15, a total of 15 module and it will be it will be happen on May 3 starting on May 3 until June 19 while we also have here an assessment where we will um, include the trainees into Microsoft certification where will be um, they will be receiving a certificate from Microsoft when they pass the examination or the certification rather the trainees also will be deploy on a project so that they will be prepared and they will be equipped on how they're gonna utilize the knowledge that they learned throughout the um the training okay aside from that aside from the dynamics 365 that um we offer we also have other courses that we offer here on the academy okay so from last quarter, we do have the Microsoft Power Automate Fundamentals, Power Platform, sorry, we also, the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals, which we had uh, a recognition a while ago. And for today's quarter, or the second quarter, is that we are offering the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Fundamentals. For the qu third quarter of the year, we'll be offering the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals, and for the last quarter of the year, we'll be offering the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. So all this, all these courses that we'll be offering, we will be, uh, will be also, will be also preparing our trainees 
for their certifications on Microsoft. Okay, so for the grading system of this academy, we have two major categories, which is the formative assessment and the summative assessment. For the formative assessment, it is consists of 40%, a total of 40%. And the subcategory for the formative assessment is we have the module completion, which is consists of 50 per, 15%. The assignment is consists of 10%. The quiz is consists of 10%. And the attendance is consists of 5%, a total of 40%. While on the summative assessment, we do have a total of 60%. And under of that, we have the laboratory activity consists of 15%. We also have the project exposure that is consists of 25%. And the certification from Microsoft, a total of 20%. And that's a total of 60%. All right. So the system or the tool that we'll be using on the or on the training will be using the Microsoft Teams. And we already sent you an email to our dear trainees. Please check your emails. We already sent you your username and your password. That will be your credential to your journey on Dynamics 365 course. Okay. So let me just um, give you an insight on how you're going to access your account, your Microsoft Teams, your Office 365 account. Okay? So our synchronous learning will be happening on Microsoft Teams. But the question is how are you going to access your Microsoft Teams? All right? So to access your Microsoft Teams, you need to start your Teams application on your mobile phone, on your Windows, or on your iOS. Okay? So in Windows, you just need to click Start Microsoft Teams on Mac, go to the Application folder, and then click the Microsoft Teams. And on mobile, just tap the Teams icon. After that, you will be redirected on the main page of the Microsoft Teams, where you will be asked to sign in your username and your password. Always, always type in or sign in your Microsoft 365 username and password that we have sent you on your email. All right. So our synchronous will be happening on Microsoft Teams. That's why we'll be having our uh, meeting here. Okay. So to join the Teams meeting, all you need to do is you just need to click the calendar. Okay. From your calendar, select the join on the meeting as you can see on the illustration and before it started or one that is in progress. After that, turn on your background filters and choose how you'd like to appear. So here, okay, so you have your background filters. You can choose what filter would you want to use or you can leave this. Okay, this, this is optional. If you want to proceed on this option, you can select a custom background or you can select um, just blur your background. Okay, after that, you just you need to choose your audio settings. Make sure on joining your on joining a meeting, always turn up your microphone first. Okay. So choose your audio settings and then after that, after you set up your Microsoft Teams, click the join now button. All right. So any questions you can type in your questions on our facebook live you can type in your questions on our youtube live or you can type all right All right, so I guess there is no questions. So that would be all for our orientation. See you all next week, trainees. Thank you so much. Yes, see you all next week. Thank you so much, Roy, to our trainees. See you next week and have a great week. Bye. Bye. Help, help. Where is